Back in the early days of YouTube, I really used to enjoy these videos of, of people making their own survival kits, of Altoids, tins, and so many different things. I must have watched a thousand of those videos, you know, kind of grainy, not the best. Absolutely love them. And just recently, I, I just kind of went back and started looking at some of those videos again. I came across a couple of really well done channels, big subscriber counts uh, with really, really top end survival type kits, uh, you know, in the hundreds of dollars, high hundreds of dollars. And it kind of got me thinking. I was watching it and um, I do so many different types of activities um, that I share with you on this channel, hunting, hiking, fishing cycling, all these different things. And usually I have all the right gear in my pack. But uh, after watching these videos, my brain started thinking, well, maybe I should have something that no matter what activity I'm doing, I can take it, put it in that type of pack. Uh, you know, a hunting pack is different than my bushcraft pack, which is different than my fishing pack and totally different than my my hiking pack. So I could take something like this out and just drop it in and off I go and I don't have to really think too hard. So anyway, it kind of got me thinking. I've had a couple of these Coglin survival kit in the cans over the years. And here we are now in 2024. I still have one that's unopened. I don't even know if you can find these anymore. I, I haven't looked, but, you know, we've got some contents here. We may as well go over. We've got a compass, which, you know, is a button compass. A um, couple of cubes, a fire starter, uh, some multi-purpose cord. We've got a, a one survival first aid with a, probably information, you know, um, maybe some band-aids and stuff. Uh, multi-purpose wire, waterproof matches, four of them. Uh, 110 feet of fishing line uh, or sewing thread, a bullion, uh, a bullion soup packet, one tea bag, one sugar packet, one matchbook, two antiseptic swabs, one razor blade, three twist ties, 12 inches of duct tape, signal mirror, uh, one Ziploc bag, two adhesive bandages, uh, two nails, one piece of chewing gum, one sewing needle, one energy candy, one note paper, and one pencil. So I could totally duplicate this in this larger can, which we're going to look at here in a second, but you know, then maybe that would leave me a lot more room for other things. So what I want to do here is I want to build this with you guys, or gals and gals, or things, and, uh, or it's. How dare you! And we're going to put this together, together. And let's see where it goes. Um, if you're not sure of what my channel is all about, please just take a look at the playlist. So we have this in French here. Um, as to the type of activities I like to get up to, and maybe we can make this work. I can't stand intros. So what we have here is a genuine military surplus that I bought in the 80s. I only recently started using it. Haven't got a lot of fire on it yet. But I picked this up in about 1982. I think I paid $20 at the time. It's probably too much maybe, but who knows. Here it is in all of its glory. I'd like to say what army it came from, but I can't. I don't know. So it measures probably oh, eight inches by six inches by about two inches. Kind of where we are. I thought this would make a good thing because this squareness kind of fits in the corner of packs kind of nice. So anyway, here we are, aluminum. Is it, some of you are gonna say stainless steel would be better because some people don't like the aluminum for health reasons. Um, I've been using it. I'm still here. So anyway, uh, it is a little bit lighter and it's kind of what I thought, you know, if for this video. So that's where I'm at. We can boil water with it. We can fry things on it. And this is the type of thing where I, I envisioned using it all the time. I don't want it strictly for emergencies. I mean, if that was the case, I would just stick with something like this, throw it in every pack that I, I just go and forget about it. I was actually hoping to use this stuff on a regular basis. So no matter where I go, I can find a use. So <clears throat> first thing that I come up with here is a whistle, which I did not see in there. And this is a Topps whistle. It's kind of a knife channel. We got a, light, a lot of knife content on this channel. 
And so I thought a whistle would be a good idea. I put it on a little clip here so that you can hang from your pack or from your shirt while you're walking. Uh, I've gone on a couple of trips where I didn't have a whistle on my backpack. And it would have been nice to have this to go, oh, I know where there is one. Um, I got a lot of redundancies going on in here. <laughs> Matches, ferro rod, and lighters. So I'm looking for your suggestions. Maybe uh, I can trim back and I need to add to. So there's going to be a lot of things that I'm already thinking of. Anyways, matches. These are good matches. They work fine. They don't take up a lot of space. Maybe I could trim it down to something. Maybe I could cut this down and, uh, I don't know, do something with the matches just to make it smaller and more compact. Uh, some great videos out there, yeah. Anyway, we got four AAA batteries for the headlamp. I think this is good. I've already trimmed some of the paper back. Um, could I even do more? Possibly, which would, you know, open up other possibilities. Uh, this is a like a J-cloth type of thing. When you open it up, it's pretty big. I, I've cooked many things, and it's nice to wipe things up. Also, I suppose if you had to use it as a, I don't know, a tourniquet maybe, or something to strain, you know, instead of a bandana. It's a little bit smaller. People are going to say, it must be a bandana. I've got several bandanas in different areas. Uh, more redundancy here on the fire starting um, possibly a little bit over the top, you know, matches, ferro, and a lighter, maybe. Okay, in the first aid department, really thin, right? Just a couple of band-aids, a couple of antiseptic wipes, uh, probably some aspirin or Advil or whatever, mamprin, proprin, and jamprin, and whatever the hell. Probably need something like that, right? Some painkillers. Um, we've got a Fresnel here. You see this all the time in these types of videos. Personally, I would, I've used this more than, uh, for, because I can't see very well sometimes and I don't have my glasses with me. I forget them. Um, putting thread through a needle, this thing would work really good for me. I've pulled out many slivers into the woods and I've cut myself many times in those videos. Some of you can remember them. And yeah, I've had to use things like this because I just could not see very well. Uh, I don't always carry my glasses with me. So that's important. And yeah, of course, you could use that if it's really hot and sunny uh, for Tinder and stuff like that. But in northern Canada, yeah, you know where I'm going with that. Uh, we've got a space blanket, heat blanket. I don't know. It's okay. I, if I opened it up, will I be able to fold it? Of course not. We all know that. It's basically, this would be an emergency type of item. Um, when it comes to paper and writing, you know, I've got the entire pad in here. Maybe that's too much. Maybe I should just trim that back to just a few pages. Probably save on some room so I could add some more things. Uh, you probably, there's no compass in here, right? and uh, those medical supplies that we were just talking about. Of course, we've got the standard issue Ziploc bag, or yeah, Ziploc bag. I'm not gonna get into the uses, but you know, it fits kind of good you, based on the size, the base, how I folded it, you know, it might be okay. Maybe I could lay it flat. Anyway, there's that, and here's the lighter I was talking about. We've got some duct tape on it, and this massive needle with this massive eye eyelet so again in combination with the fresnel if i had to put some of the bank line that's coming through here it would be no problem and i put a little paracord thing on here just to keep the accidentally fuel you know in a case like that's it's well here let me do this properly here all right so now we can properly use it and I put this on here so that it won't accidentally discharge. Now I'm having a hard time putting it back on because I'm making a video, which is normally the case. But I did say I like those older videos from like 2010, 2009, you know, the early YouTube. So there was a lot of that going on. So there you go. There you go. So we're saving on the butane duct tape. Paracord, you can hang this from your your keychain or whatever the case might be. A little, is it too much? 
you know, one, two, three, probably. Um, we've got a black diamond headlamp. And I, I took the rubber thing that goes around your head, the elastic band, because I, I just didn't couldn't make it work in here. Um, but if I started to trim back, maybe I could get it in there. My thoughts are I could use this paracord to make something, you know, go around my head. And plus, you've got this kind of angle thing. And I thought, well, maybe I could do a, a clip clip on. It's not the greatest. It's not bad. But I could probably make it work. Anyway, thoughts on that. Maybe this is too big. There are smaller versions out there. I'm just going with the stuff that I have lying around. And of course, I've got tons and tons of a number 30, I think, bank line. I want to say number 30, but I could be wrong. It's a ton in here. So no shortage. I, I've always reached for this stuff. Just go back to any of my Into the Woods video where I make the fork and the knife extensions because those little forks and knives are too small. Anyway, I digress. This guy's been floating around the box, uh, in the bottom of a box for at least... 12 to 15 years now, maybe longer. Uh, you can see the, the plastic is starting to wear out a little bit. Never used it. It's just been rolling around. I thought, well, maybe this is a good time to bring it out in for this uh, new survival kit. Or I don't even know if I'm going to call it a survival kit yet. I don't know what it is. Of course, we've got a pencil. Um, some people will say the shavings will be good for starting a fire. Um, maybe even the the... The, what is this thing called? Eraser. That's it. The eraser. Um, some people might say just use a mechanical pencil because it's a little bit thinner, smaller. I don't know. Potato, potato on that one. And some old school fire starter. This stuff does really work really well. I kind of chose this. I could have added a couple more, but I put it in because it just kind of fits really well. You know, it's got the shape, so it stows okay. Couple of zip ties. I taped them in there because they're like springs. You know, as soon as you move something, they come jumping out and they're hard to put back in. So I just taped them in there for now. Maybe I'll tape them flat down later or something. I don't know. Still early days. We're going to build this together. I'm looking for your suggestions on this video. So, um, and then I can present it to you uh, in any of the videos that I was talking about, those hunting and hiking videos and into the woods. I can pop it open and we can take a look at it together. Um, I don't want it to be an emergency. It's good for an emergency, but I also want it to use it on a regular basis. So uh, maybe these some of these things are not the right idea. Not sure. I do like the idea of fitting it into here. Um, I did, you know, see videos where people put all of this gear inside a container like this. The only reason I don't like that is because if you need something, uh, you've got to pull everything out to get it. It's a little bit more difficult to get at. So it, it, it did cross my mind, but I've got the water in a, in a different container anyways. So, you know, I've, I, that could be a standalone for the water as well. So I've got other, other ideas for the water. This is something else. Um, yeah, so we're missing a compass and we're missing, you know, some first aid as far as the painkillers and stuff like that. Um, some might say a bandana should be in here instead of the, this guy. Um, there's probably, what, a compass? Did I already mention that? There's a bunch of things missing here that are on this, this can. You know, fish hooks, uh, fishing line. Uh, oh, there is the signal whistle. I thought there wasn't one in here. Um, you know, things like chewing gum, energy candy and stuff like that. I think there's room for that kind of stuff. I was thinking like an energy gel. Obviously, we're missing a multi-tool and a knife. Come on, guys. This is uh, the multi-tool and knife channel. Or a kind of like a multi-tool knife channel. So, so yeah, what are we missing? Maybe a Micra? Maybe a Compact? Maybe an Open L? I don't know. I'm looking for your suggestions here. Um, yeah, we could easily get in a tea bag and all this other stuff. What else are we missing? Uh, yeah, the fishing thing, I think I kind of talked about. I don't know how important to have a fishing thing is because when I go fishing, I bring dedicated fishing stuff. When I go hunting, I don't even think of fishing. And when I go cycling, I usually have my hunting and hiking stuff with me. So anyway, 
maybe that could be too much. So yeah, we could talk about it. There's a bunch of things that we need to add on here. I'm looking for your suggestions, like I said. Let's build this thing together. I'll probably do two or three videos until it's 100% done. And uh, let's take it from there. Signal mirror. Yeah, I know we're missing that. So anyway, I hope to see you on the next video and looking forward to your suggestions. Bye for now.